everybody. Well, here we are in what I'm naming the temporary train room because because I couldn't get the proper boards yet. I've put a temporary eight inch strip round as I've already mentioned and I've put track on it. And what I've been doing over the last day or so is testing trains on it just to see how it goes. And it's given me insight into what to do next for my next part of the build. <clears throat> I'll uh, show you around how I've got it up, how I've got it powered, and um, see what you think, because I love it. Anyway, cheers. Hope everybody's doing well on the lockdown. I haven't stopped, quite frankly. Right. <clears throat> A quick look around. I've got twin tracks. But what I've done on three sides, I've, I've put sidings in where I could put a, a train and wait in. I've put a, a, a loop around point in there. I've put two sidings there and a siding there. And we're just rough and ready trains. Please don't shout at me if some of these wagons aren't the right ones. I've just put any stuff out at the moment. And any trains that I'm getting down that I find faulty or not working properly, I'm taking them up in the evening and having a little fiddle with them. I mean, that TGV, for instance, was um, kept stopping and starting and then not running for ages. And it turned out it was just one of the pickups was literally a quarter of a millimetre off the wheel. And you could just, looking at it, you wouldn't see it. You'd have to, it was more by chance that I found it because every time I looked at it, it just looked fine. Anyway, I've got... I've got my power in here. I've got a controller. That's a budget model railways uh, 3D printed box with uh, the internals bought from China. The whole lot come to about a tenner or thereabouts. And, and that includes the, the um, transformer. I bought enough to make three of those. And they work better than the basic Hornby uh, DC controller. So that's where we're at. So what I'll do now We'll, um, we'll send one of the trains on its way. And it's switching round onto the outside track. I'll uh, sort the points out for that so it stays on the outside track. I can only run one train at a time because it's DC. I'll, I've got more controllers and what I'm going to do, I'm going to split uh, the loops with um, isolating fish plates and then run it temporarily like that. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll get this put to bed and we'll run one of the others. Now this, for some reason, one of these coaches has a habit of derailing on that po on that point there, and I'll have to look into that why. Yeah, let's do it again. And it's just that one, so I'll I'll have to work try and work that out why it's doing that. It's catching on something. Anyway, let's put something else out.
So it appears I've actually got a functioning train room and I am chuffed. I've also got more work to do. And last but not least Try going the right way first, eh? Right, so what do you think? I think it's good, it's gone well, um, and I can't wait to get the rest of the wood down so I can put more track down and start actually building the layout. Now, the, the 8 inch baseboard, as you can see, I can manage to get three tracks on that, which most of you most probably knew anyway. It, it's just the turns and the curves that I can't get on, that, but that means just having an extra piece of wood in the corners. But what I plan to do, is like I said earlier I'm going to make it have a second tier on this and I may well make this uh, MDF this the, the actual second tier and just lift the whole lot up but have it running as like two two main lines around the top so I can do all my fiddling around the, on the first layer have a bit of a layout and a shunting layout in, in amongst me layout but then be able to send it up send any train up onto the main lines which will be raised up but um, I hope you, you're like me and you think that this is not too bad considering um, the circumstances and, and what it was like before I am totally made up with it anyway speak to you soon bye Hi everybody and welcome back to Route 7 Railway, or should I say, temporary Route 7 Railway. I've been having a messing around with the wiring and I've got, I'll just show you, uh, two um, controllers on the go. And I've just been careful with the point work and I've just got two trains running on two separate loops. So just to show you that, I'll just uh, set the little one off. And then set the TGV off. So two little trains running on my temporary layout. Lots of T's in there. I've been having fun just messing around with the wiring. Can't wait for the uh, all the rest of the wood to come so I can uh, put this in a bit more permanently on a raised a raised section. And then at some point, once I've um, got it all up, and I might start thinking about switching a lot, having some track for DCC, or switching the whole lot to DCC. Why not? Why not have both? I can do what I like. So here we go.
Hi. Well, things are looking good, I think. It's all, albeit only temporary. I'm filling in my time just working on that eight inch strip round the edge of the train room. And all being well, the wood will arrive in the next few days and we'll be able to put the proper baseboards down. And considering what the room was like, or what the garage was like at the beginning of all this, I think it, the progress has been really good. I'm really pleased with the way things are going. I hope that we'll see some more improvements very soon. So please subscribe and like. It all helps, as you know. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and pass it on to your friends. So I'll see you at the next one. Before we go, make sure you're staying safe.